big decision today. I've made the legs almost an inch short than shorter than they should be, and so I've got to uh, increase the length of his legs, and it's not going to be an easy thing to do, but I got to do it. All right, let's get busy on it, and I got to figure out what the heck I'm going to do. Time to play with some clay. Boy, I hate doing this. I just really do. But I'm going to have to do something here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The halfway point for the... Uh, wait a minute. Let me just make sure. You see where the point here... This point here is? That's where his foot... Bottom of his foot should be. And that should be where his uh, top of his leg would be. So that... When you go from there to the top of his head, that's the halfway point between the bottom of the foot and the top of the head is right in here. So I've got to lengthen that leg this much, the uh, length of uh, or the depth of this uh, piece of wood. And I've just got to figure out how I'm going to do this. Okay, I've got one screw holding this whole piece of wood onto this piece of wood. What I'm going to have to do is take this piece of wood away and then just drop a piece of wire down and, yeah. I'm thinking out loud here. So what I've got to do is redo the foot. I've got my flame going here. To heat up this tool, this uh, knife, so I can cut through the clay fast, faster and cleaner. And all I'd have to do is lengthen his shafts a little bit and uh, leg a little. So let's do that right now. And, uh, of course, I got a screw holding the wire of his leg into the board. I've got to somehow get rid of that. So I'm going to have to cut a little higher. The key to this whole thing, if I had just gotten the darn proportions correct in the first place I wouldn't have this problem oh boy <sighs> nothing like destroying a couple of days work flame out of the way. Okay, now I've got to try to pull that leg out of there.
I'm trying to keep it from falling over because it'll bend that wire. <clears throat> I'm going to put this screw in here to act as a support for this leg. Now, let's see. Perfect. Now it's a perfect, perfect length. I'd been thinking this leg was a little short, and that leg over there was short. And uh, I just didn't want up to do anything about it. But at some point, you say to yourself, are you sculpting quality, or are you sculpting just a sculpt? And I'm bound by my desire to make something the best I can do. So, you go the extra route of doing just exactly that. Now see that screw down there will keep that leg from sliding down in the clay. Now it's just a matter of making everything balanced as far as his body goes. What I'm doing is making the boot that uh, he's standing on, or in, and uh, it's always a treat to do this. For you to see what I'm doing, I had to put the camera right on my board. <laughs> and so if I knock into it, it's because uh, I'm working in this area. All right, I'm going to use some Super Sculpty to solidify this uh, joint between the uh, different armatures I got in the leg because it wants to move and I can't have that which means I'm going to have to let this harden overnight and uh, because Super Sculpty gets stiffer and it uh, is really good for this type of thing if you're going to have to use it in conjunction with your armature. Alright, that's going to have to do it for today. I just added a little bit more. That's where the knee should be. And I just double checked on the uh, length of the leg, the foreleg, and it's perfect. So now that's all corrected, and tomorrow, when this uh, Super Sculpty gets uh, hard or stiff, I'll be able to work on it. Yeah. All right. Good night, everybody. I'm sorry about all this, but uh, sometimes you just got to take it apart and try to repair what you screwed up. And I screwed this up something fierce. All right, good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos.